Greetings, beloved friends in Christ. I welcome you to 5 Minutes with Mother Mary on this 28th day of a May devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. I am Father C.J. Berry, and we shall be reflecting on the theme, Tower of David. Todo a voz e em prova da minha devoção, eu hoje vos dou meu coração. As we reflect on the litany of Our Lady of Loreto, we discover that each invocation reveals one of Mary's virtues through its metaphors. We repeat these invocations with the intention of incorporating these virtues into our own lives. Nevertheless, to apply these virtues effectively, we must understand their meanings. Today, we focus on this title, Tower of David, in Latin, Turis Davidica, and turn to scripture for deeper insights. Now, what does this invocation, Tower of David, signify? To comprehend this title, we look to the first book of Maccabees, chapter 1, verses 33 and 34, which says that the city of David fortified with solid towers has become an invincible fortress. In ancient times, cities were fortified with walls to defend itself against enemy attack, and towers were erected within these walls where sentries stood guard day and night. A well-fortified city provided its inhabitants with a sense of security. Similarly, in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, the son of David, the Blessed Virgin Mary serves as a strong sentinel, a Davidic tower. She is called the Tower of David because she is full of grace and strong enough, like the towers in the city of David, to resist sin and the power of the evil one, thereby protecting her children. Also, the book of Song of Songs compares the beauty of a woman to the majestic tower of David. We have this in Song of Songs chapter 4 verse 4. It says, Your neck is like the tower of David, built with courses of stone, and its hand a thousand shields, all of them shields of warriors. This imagery reflects our blessed mother as referenced in her katina, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as an army set in battle array. Thus, this star symbolizes strength, protection, and beauty. Invoking the Blessed Virgin Mary as Star of David acknowledges our role as the one sent by God to guard our spiritual lives against evil, just as she guarded the life of the Son of God. We must seek her intercession because our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. We have this in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Therefore, those who have Mary in their lives can feel secure, like the inhabitants of a fortified city, with tall towers, where watchmen ensure safety day and night. Just as people would find refuge in a fortified tower, Christians find spiritual refuge in the maternal care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary's comparison to the Tower of David encourages us to emulate our strength and faith. Mary, as the Tower of David, also symbolizes the Church's role as a sanctuary and a defender of truth. Her example reinforces the Church's mission to be a guiding light and protector of the faithful. As devotees looking up to Mary as the Tower of David, we are inspired to seek her protection and strive to emulate her virtues in our spiritual journey. O Tower of David, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Tower of David, the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Sai propriedade vossa, amém. Como coisa e propriedade vossa, amém.